Hi everyone, welcome back to Coding and Creating. Today we're gonna to have some fun with digital animation using Stop Motion Studio. There's two versions of the iPad app, the free version and then the pro version, which costs a little bit of money. Um, you can use the free version and you'll have the key features to make a really cool animation, but today we're using the pro version. So let me open up the Stop Motion Studio Pro. When you get into the program, you hit the plus to make a new movie and you give it access to your camera and you'll see your scene. So you can see today I've got some toys here with some blue fabric laying up there. And over here I've got some green fabric and I'll show you what that's going to be all about. Um, because the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change our camera settings. So let me take a quick screenshot here so that I can show you where we're clicking. So this little icon right here is the camera settings button. We're going to we're going to go ahead and click on that camera settings and we're going to change to green screen. You can see there's a blue box where it says camera. I'm clicking right where it says green screen and it doesn't look like much has changed. But if I look over here, do you see how that gr green fabric is now looks like it's outer space? Isn't that cool? So I've got uh, some changes here to do. Um, just to the right of center, there is a button right here. And look down at the bottom. It says, right now we're on green. I'm going to just say, I want the color that's going to be transparent to be blue. And uh, I can use this little slider and adjust how I want, uh, how much, how picky I want the uh, iPad to be as far as picking uh, the color shades of blue. So if you look over here, if I slide this, see if I tell it to be very um, sort of generous with what color blue, those blue chairs all of a sudden start showing the things. Uh, so you have to sort of dial it in to so, so that you get the best uh, effect possible uh, just with the lighting and the different objects that you're using. Just to the right of that button is where you can control the different types of background images that you can place in your scene. So if we want our bus to be here on the moon, we can do that. We can do all kinds of different things. I don't know, which one should we try today? Should we do um, school buses on the moon with dinosaurs? Does that like, look, look like a good plan? So maybe I can make it uh, go over this way. We can have a little guy riding on the moon within a school bus with a uh, giant dinosaur. So maybe the dinosaur can be over here in the background. So we'll move it like that. All right, so we've got our scene ready to go and we're gonna go ahead and start making our movie. All right, so I'm gonna click done when I'm happy with my settings. And to start making a movie, what you do is you press the red record button and you snap a picture. Then you can move the objects. So let's say this dinosaur is moving around the school bus and he's coming over this way to see why the school bus is parked on that rock over there. He's sort of sniffing at it. Okay, so I take uh, several pictures. Then when I hit the, the play button, which is just below the red button, it's on the right, you can see how the animation moves along. Um, now, I turned my character so that his face was away from the camera because I wanted to show you a really fun little um, technique. So if you tap on one of the frames, you can say edit. And in the upper right, there's a plus sign. In the upper right corner, I'll hit that plus sign right up here. And you can add a drawing, you can add text and speech bubbles and so on. But I want to try the one that says face. So I tap face and I get this face. I can re-tap on it so that I can resize the image by grabbing the handles and do things like this. Here, let me grab that handle. I'll shrink that down and move it over here. Okay, here, let me make my, my screen a little bit bigger here. I can make my adjustments. I put my little character on there. You see how I've got a cool little face? I'm gonna click in the upper left and go back to my main screen. And then maybe I can go over here. I'll do it again. Let me try edit. I'll hit the plus on the right, face, tap, resize my, um, my, my face down to the right size, put it down here. Now I want him to look like he's talking and things, right? So what I can do is tap edit in the upper right hand corner and I see all these really cool controls. So I can uh, click one of these, let's say I have him 
So it'll look like he's talking a little bit. I can click done. And then I'll click in the upper left. Let me just do each of these frames. So edit plus face. I can resize it. Now, the cool thing about this is that you can also, uh, you can change the eyes, you can change its position on the characters. So here, let me hit edit. So for example, if I click on this 3D, see how I can move it around his face so it looks like he's turning his head a little bit. Um, if I want to make, change his eyes so that it looks like he's like going, and you know, what? There's a dinosaur! <laughs> or, you know, whatever sort of effect I want to have it. It's like, what? All right, so I can have him go, uh-oh, <laughs> there he is. He notices that there's a dinosaur coming after him. All right, now, if you have a little sequence like that that you want to just copy and paste, you can copy and paste any particular slide, but if you want to select more than one, you hit in the upper left, or sorry, lower left of that, see where it said the word select, then you can, so you hit select, and then you can drag your frames just over to the side there like that and then you can tap again and you can say copy and then you can say paste and you can paste it a couple times if you wish and then here's what my scene looks like so he's sitting there talking but you can see you can really refine that and make it really cool so that that's the face option all right now um there's so much to learn with this program that I'm not going to go through in our just little introduction to the program, but in the lower right there's a question mark. You tap on that and it shows you a, high, a, a guide for what all of the controls do. And where it says learn more, right over by the question mark in the right, if you click on learn more, you'll see a full explanation of everything the program does, including these really cool movies that go through the first steps, go through how to adjust your camera, how to do stop motion animation, and they really get into some awesome detail of how to make incredible professional looking animations. So I'll click done. So use those to learn about a lot of things. Over on the left, you'll see where the label says onion skin. If you watch the little movie on that, it just shows you a sort of a shadow of the, the previous frames. Uh, over on the upper right-hand side, right above the red button, it says the word timer. Those are also useful, because if you click this little timer button, you can say to take a picture every, let's say, four seconds. And what will happen is when you press the button, it snaps a picture, and then you have four seconds to move your character, and it takes it again. You have four more seconds, and then it takes a picture. Here, I'll hit stop. So that's kind of a neat feature to make your workflow a little bit better. With the um, onion skin feature, what you can do is see how when I move it, I can sort of see the frame before it. So it, it sort of gives you like a little shadow. So if I wanted to snap the picture, and you can snap the picture and see the frames before it. All right, so those are some of the big features with the program. Uh, when you're done, you can go back to the gallery, okay? To go back to the gallery, you use this icon right here, and then you can start to share your work. So let me click, go back to the gallery, and then you click uh, select in the upper right-hand corner, and you select your movie, and then you click uh, right up here where that menu just came down, that's the share menu. And if you're turning it in for class, use Export Movie, okay? Export Movie is the, the right format to share so we can celebrate your incredible animations that you make. Um, if you're sending it to another device, let's say you wanted to send it from a school iPad to your phone at home, you could choose Project so that you could continue working on it on another device. Um, and you can save it in your Google Drive, or you could, if you're here in class and you're turning it in, you can use AirDrop. If you're uh, working at home, you can choose uh, the right format, like Export Movie, and use the link to share your work on Schoology. So have fun making movies. I can't wait to see what you come up with. See you next time.